Today, I'm going to show you how to remove a scar in Photoshop. Hey guys, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and you can find me on flurn.com, where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And today's episode is nice and simple. We're going to show you a few different techniques for removing scars and other blemishes in Photoshop. We're going to show you how to correct the lightness or the darkness of skin, because sometimes scars have like dark areas around them. We're going to show you how to color correct areas around the scar, and we're going to show you how to remove that scar tissue all in Photoshop. All right, let's go ahead and jump in. Here's our image for today. We got a nice big scar we're going to be removing. Now, the first thing that we're going to do when we're looking at our scar is there's some of the areas in the scar that are just a little bit dark and you can kind of see them usually around the scar, like in this area here. It's just going to be a little bit dark. Now, to kind of help with light and dark, what I like to do is create a black and white adjustment layer. So I'm going to go to layer, down to new adjustment layer and over here to black and white. Okay, let's hit okay. And with this visible, you can see there are some dark areas here right around the scar. So let's go ahead and take care of lightening those areas up a little bit. Basically, before we actually go in and try to remove the scar tissue, we want the skin to look as even as possible. All right, so to lighten these areas up, we're going to create a curves adjustment layer. So let's go to layer, down to new adjustment layer, and over to curves. Let's hit OK. Now here in our curves adjustment layer, I just want to click here in the middle and we're going to drag this right up just a little bit there. Now you can always come back and change this value at any time. You can make it darker or lighter, but in this case, we're going to go a little bit lighter. Okay. Now on our layer mask for this curves adjustment layer, you can see if I make it visible and invisible, it's just making it a little bit lighter. Our layer mask is white, meaning the layer is completely visible. In this case, we want this to be invisible right now because I only want it to be visible here where the scar is. So I'm going to click on my layer mask. And we're going to go to edit and down to fill because we're going to fill the layer mask with black, making the layer invisible. Okay, so now you can see our layer mask is black and the layer is in fact invisible. So we're going to use our brush tool now and I'm going to paint with a soft edge large brush. There we go, soft edge. And I want to bring my flow down to about 20%. This is going to allow me to put just a very gradual amount of paint here on my layer mask. Okay, so my goal here is just to basically paint over the areas that I want to lighten. So a layer mask just makes part of a layer visible and part of a layer invisible. So I'm just painting over these areas that are just a little bit too dark. There we go. And just kind of lightening those areas up. This is our first step. So oftentimes again with scars, you're going to have uh, areas that are either too light or too dark and you're going to have some color issues as well where the skin might be a little bit red. All right, there we go. So we can see I just lighten that up a little bit. So I'm going to turn this off and on and then there, there you can see it's a little bit lighter. Now, if you want to change this value, it's real simple to do. Just click, double click right here on this little thumbnail icon. So I'm going to double click right there and here I can make my area lighter. You can see it's only affecting that area now. Okay. Or darker if I need to. But in this case, it was right about there. I just want to fine tune it to where it pretty much becomes invisible. You know, you want, you want it to just kind of like blend in with the rest of the skin. So go ahead and paint on with your layer mask like we just did, and then just go in here and adjust it. And you want to make sure everything blends in really nicely. Okay. And viewing this in black and white can be really helpful because here, all I'm looking at is the light and dark values. So let's make this invisible and visible again. And you can see it just lightens up that area and already the scar is much less visible. Okay, now let's make our black and white layer invisible and we can see just lightening that up works really nicely. I might bring this down just a tiny bit. Great, now if an area was too light, for instance, let's go ahead and zoom in. We can try to work on this area as well. So let's create an adjustment layer. Again, we're gonna go to layer, down to new adjustment layer and over to curves. Let's hit OK. Now this time we're going to make our layer a little bit darker. Here on our layer mask, I'm going to go to edit, down to fill, and we're going to fill this with black. OK, and now I want to choose a small brush here about the same size as like this light area here. There we go. And you can see I'm just kind of darkening down the light area in the scar. OK. So the idea here, this is basically dodging and burning. So you guys learn dodging and burning without even knowing it. 
we're just making the lighter areas a little bit darker, okay? And the darker areas a little bit lighter. So there's the before and the after with that. You can see it's already much less visible. Okay, so that's pretty much taking care of the light and the dark areas. Now you can reduce the visibility of a scar just like this, or you can continue forward and uh, we're gonna be completely removing it. Now, we're also gonna go and show you how to remove some redness in the skin. So in this picture, there's not a ton of redness, so I'm gonna add some redness, then I'm gonna show you how to take it away again. So now we're gonna look at adding some redness, just in case your scar did have red area around it. We'll show you it's relatively easy to remove. So I'm gonna create a new layer. Now, in this case, I'm just gonna grab my brush tool and I'm just gonna paint with some red right around our scar area there. And I'm gonna change our layer from normal down to soft light. Okay, so here you can see now we've got some redness in the skin. So what we wanna do is we wanna figure out how to target just that red area, and then I wanna change it to be the color of the rest of the skin. So we're gonna target it using a hue saturation adjustment layer. So let's go up here to layer and down to new adjustment layer and over to hue saturation and hit okay. Now, the hue saturation adjustment layer is great because you can target specific colors and just change those colors. So in this case, we're gonna target just these, just the red that I actually put on there, okay? So what we wanna do here is right where it says master, we wanna click there and I'm gonna go down to reds, okay? Cause we're targeting reds. Now I'm gonna use my eyedropper tool so I can hone in just on the exact reds that I actually wanna change. Okay, so let's go ahead and click there. Now, in this case, it's gonna select these reds, but it's also gonna select the skin color around it as well, because we have some feathering, and that, that's what this slider is right down here. So, I wanna go ahead, I'm gonna turn my hue all the way up here, and my saturation, and the reason I'm doing this is just so I can better see what's actually gonna get affected by my hue saturation adjustment layer. And you can see the hue saturation is now, it's affecting all the skin. It's too much. Really, all I wanna do is affect this red area. So we can change this slider right down here on the bottom to actually wind up affecting less. So I'm gonna go ahead, let's make this a little bit larger and I'll explain how this slider works. So the colors at the top here basically change to the colors at the bottom. Now here in this area of the slider, this is like the area that is absolutely affected and this over here to the left and the right, this is where it feathers out to other colors. So we can actually click here on these outermost little icons there we go, and bring them in. And we're gonna do the same thing here as well. And it's gonna to start to basically affect less and less of our image. Now I can click here in the middle of this little slider and move this to the right and left, and you're gonna see different areas are becoming affected, okay? So as I move this to the right, we can see it's now picking up a lot of like yellows in the skin. And if I move this to the left, now we can see that scar area where I, remember I just added that color, that is actually being highlighted now. Okay, so basically the reason I just bring my hue and my saturation up is just so I can see what I'm doing. But now that I have my target in the right area, okay, I can see that that is what's getting changed. Uh, we're gonna just change our numbers here to zero. So we're, saturation we're gonna bring back to zero and our hue we're gonna bring back to zero as well. Okay, and now I can just take my hue to the right a little bit. So you can see it's a little bit red. If I were to take it here, it'd become more red, right? So I'm gonna take this and bring it to the right a little bit. We're gonna bring our saturation down and I'm gonna bring my lightness up a little bit. Okay, so basically we're taking red, all right, what was on the red side, and I'm just pushing it to the right so it's becoming the color of the skin, okay? It was saturated, like it had a lot of color, so you can see I could add more saturation, but that would make it look worse, so we're not gonna do that. So I wanna take some of the color out of it there, and then we're just gonna lighten it up a little bit as well. Okay, so now you can see, let's go ahead and close that dialog box. Now you can see basically we've just effectively reduced that color in the scar. Now you can see it also did change the color in the hand. So I'm gonna click on our hue saturation adjustment layer and I'm gonna go to edit. We're gonna go down to fill, fill this layer mask with black. And then I just wanna paint the layer mask white just over top of the scar. Cause I don't, I don't need to change the, uh, the color anywhere else. Okay, so you can see we've effectively reduced any redness that would be in the scar. So in this case, I added the redness, like, you know, I just did that on this layer, if you remember, and then used this layer to remove it. But if you do have any red areas around your scar, this is all you would, you would obviously not need to add anything. You would just use a hue saturation and target it. Okay, so 
now we've learned how to either lighten or darken our skin to make it look more even. And we've learned how to change the color. If you have some redness, just use a hue saturation adjustment layer, and then you can target just those reds. Go ahead and change your hue a little bit, bring your saturation down and your lightness up, and that should get rid of the reds. Okay, so now we're gonna jump in. We're gonna show you how to actually remove the scar tissue. For removing the scar tissue, I'm gonna go ahead and make these two layers invisible because I don't need that red that I added to the scar, okay? Now, we're going to do this in a couple of different ways. There are a few different tools that you can use to reduce a scar, basically take care of the skin texture here. Okay, the first tool that I would recommend using is the healing brush tool. Now with the healing brush tool, you can sample any areas of your photo, and then it'll take the texture from the area you sample, and it'll take the color from the area that you paint. So here with our healing brush tool, I'm gonna make sure that my sample says I wanna sample the current layer and below, okay? Because if it's just on current layer, there's nothing on this because I, I created a new layer here. So you wanna make sure to sample the current layer and anything that's below it. Okay, so here with the healing brush tool, the goal here, let me just zoom in, is to sample skin that's similar to the area that you want to cover up. So in this case, if I wanna cover up this little area, I'm gonna hold Alt or Option and sample over here, and then we're gonna paint right over here. And you're gonna see it's basically gonna cover it up and it's gonna use the texture from wherever I sample. So let's try it again. I'm gonna hold Alt or Option and sample there. And you're gonna see a little preview of what we're gonna get. It's basically just going to take the texture from the area that I sample and the color from wherever I paint. So again, I'm gonna do this down here, Alt or Option to sample. And we're gonna paint this in right over here. There we go. And I'm gonna continue to go over and over again. Now, if it does anything you don't want, like this area is a little bit light, not a big deal. Just hold Alt or Option again, sample a new place, and then paint over it again. All right, cool. So this is the healing brush tool, and it will work pretty well most of the time. Now, in this case, the texture is just, we can see it, it did remove it, but we still have a couple areas where it's trying to like blend everything together. And that's, that's one benefit of the healing brush tool is it does try to blend things together. But in this case, it's, we're seeing all these little edges and it's not helping us out a ton. So if your skin doesn't have a ton of texture where you're trying to sample, then the healing brush tool is gonna work perfect. Now in this example, we're gonna create a new layer. I'm gonna show you another tool for the job and that's the clone stamp tool. So clone stamp tool right over here. Now with this tool, we take an exact, basically the same technique. You take an exact copy of wherever you sample and it just transfer, transfers it over to wherever you're painting. Okay, it's not gonna try to blend anything together and that can be helpful. So again, I'm gonna hold Alt or Option to sample. Okay, I'm gonna see a little preview of what we're gonna be painting and I can just kind of go from the bottom right up there and sample and paint right over top of our scar. And you can do this in a couple of different passes. All right, there we go. So let's go ahead and zoom out. We can see already better there. Now, there are a couple of areas that kind of look the same. So I'm just gonna like, you can see a line there. So I'm gonna sample right there, right above it. Okay, and we're just gonna kind of fill these areas in. There we go. So I'm just using the clone stamp tool again, basically. All right, and that's gonna help smooth out any of these transitions that I have that are not exactly how I want. All right, so just sampling right above. So don't be afraid to just use this tool, you know, a, a couple different times here. Sample an area that you want and paint area over the area that you don't want. All right, there we go. And let's go ahead and zoom out and we're looking pretty good. Now I would recommend, you know, you can do this from zoomed in, but also make sure to zoom out. You know, that way you can see like this patch here is a little bit light in color. So I'm gonna sample right above it where it's a little dark. Just hold Alt or Option to sample and then paint right over top of it. All right, and we're just gonna do this right over here just a couple more times. There we go. And by the time we're done, we really shouldn't see any more of a scar. All right, and that looks pretty dang good, I gotta say. So that turned out to be the best tool for the job in this case, the clone stamp tool. So I would recommend starting off with the healing brush tool because it's gonna work really well in a lot of situations. In this case, we just had a bit 
there was a lot of skin texture showing, so the clone stamp tool is just gonna work a little bit better here. So let's just turn that off and on. You can see our scar is completely gone. All right, pretty cool, guys. Well, let's go ahead and I'm gonna group all these layers together. Controller Command G, hit F for full screen, and we'll show you here's our before and the after. And that's it, guys, how to remove a scar or any other skin blemish in Photoshop. If you want to do this on your own, just follow these key steps. When removing a scar, keep in mind that the area around the scar tends to be a little bit darker. So we showed you how to create a black and white adjustment layer to just view the lights and the darks. Then we used a couple curves adjustment layers to either make areas a little lighter or a little bit darker. Now you can paint in the area that you actually want to affect and always double click right there on the thumbnail to actually make your curves either lighter or darker, blending perfectly with the rest of the skin. The skin around a scar can also be a bit red. So we showed you how to reduce the redness of a scar. You can use a hue saturation adjustment layer. Go ahead and click where it says master and go down to reds. Then be sure to use your eyedropper to click on the reds you want to affect. Now in this example, I brought my hue and my saturation all the way to the right. This allowed me to see where I was actually affecting. Then you can use the sliders on the bottom of the hue saturation adjustment layer to narrow in the focus. Go ahead and click in the very middle and drag that to the left or the right. This is going to allow you to fine tune just the red areas. Now, when it comes time to change those red areas, simply bring all your values back to zero, bring your hue to the right by usually anywhere from five to 10 points, bring your saturation down a little bit and your lightness up and the red should be completely gone. And finally, to remove the texture of the scar, there are a couple different tools. In this case, we showed you the healing brush tool, which works very well in most applications. I do recommend starting off with that tool. In this case, there was a little bit too much skin texture and the healing brush tool wasn't doing the exact job I wanted. So I switched to the clone stamp tool. Simply hold alt or option to sample the area that you want to paint and then paint over the area. It's going to make an exact copy of that area over top of the scar. And be sure to do this while zoomed in and then also zoom out and make sure everything looks good from far away as well. All right, guys, that's all there is to it. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial. I hope it helped out. If you got a scar in a photo, now you know how to remove it. If you love Photoshop and photography as much as I do, go ahead and click on your screen right about now. We'll send you free episodes every single week teaching you things like this and, well, just about anything else you can think of. And if you have an idea for an episode or a question or comment about today's episode, just leave it in the comment box right down below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much, guys. I'll flirt you later. Bye, everyone.